Hello and welcome to the garden. I'm in the garden today sowing some seeds for the summertime. My spring seeds have come and flourished and given me crops. Some of them are still doing well, some of them have died off, but it's time to sow some more seeds for the summertime. And I'm gonna be putting in some summer squash. It's a 55 day to harvest. And I'm also gonna be putting in some early white patty pans. This is roughly around about the same time. So I can get a summer harvest out of this pot that I have some bush dark zucchini in. So join me in the garden as I sow some summer squash. I had to put a little bit of diatomaceous earth in my pot because when I was in here earlier, trimming back some of the old leaves and just checking it to make sure that it didn't have any bugs on it, um, I noticed that there were some black ants and they were appearing to look like they were trying to make a condo and I'm not trying to have that. So I put a little bit of diatomaceous earth to take care of that problem. So I am now gonna be sowing in this pot towards the back, uh, cause I don't know if you guys can see this, but in the front I have, um, I have some asparagus and it looks like I got a spider in there. Well, I'm gonna leave him alone. We're gonna avoid him at all costs. So let's see, let's find a place to put some more squash. Now I've never planted patty pans before. So this will be my first time trying to grow patty pans. I've never even tasted a patty pan. So I'm hoping that they taste good. And I'm tr gonna try to avoid disturbing my asparagus, my baby asparagus. So I'm just going to rough up the soil towards the back. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing and my head is not in the way. Now these seeds are about a year old, so I'm not altogether certain if they're going to germinate. So I'm gonna put a couple of them down here I'm just gonna toss them in like that. Again, like I said, I'm trying to avoid disturbing my asparagus babies. And I want to avoid that spider because he's in there shaking his web, acting like I'm, I'm getting on his nerves. So that is the patty pan. So now I'm gonna grab the early prolific straight neck and try not to get eaten up by this mosquito who's flying by me trying to test out whether or not I'm good for lunch and I'm gonna put a few of these in here as well because like I said I, I did put some in earlier this year and they did not come up so my assumption is what I put in here wasn't a good seed. So I'm just going to throw a few of them in here. And now I'm going to take some soil and backfill. I'm not going to try to mess with that soil and cover them up. Because like I said, that spider is in there acting crazy. I'm going to leave him alone to do his business. But I am going to take some soil and backfill those seeds and cover them up. And then I will water them in. So let me get I'm that soil. I'm just going to take a couple of handfuls of soil that I pulled out of my Reclaim Soil bag and just throw that on top of those seeds. Again, trying to avoid that spider and trying not to disturb my asparagus babies. And I'm just gonna try to pat it down a little bit so that there's contact with that soil and I'm not gonna worry about it too much if I don't get full contact because I am gonna put some water on it and that water will settle everything down. It has been raining and it is due to rain again. So I'm not gonna water it too much, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of water because water is what activates those seeds. It lets it know that it's time to start growing. And it looks like one of my seeds have unearthed. So I'm gonna take a little bit more soil and plop it in there like that. And there we go. And a little bit more water, just like that. And that's it. Every time I water, the seeds come unearthed. Cut it out, seeds. There we go. It'll settle in. 
And that is me done with sewing squash for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. There isn't much to it. As you can see, I do have some dark zucchini still growing. You've got some um, male flowers there. Uh, there are a couple of female flowers that do have some baby zucchinis on it. They should be ready in a couple of days. Again, I do have asparagus growing in the front of that pot. And so I do want some more squash this summer and that's a perfect place for it to be. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you stick around, become a member of the Clausen World family and watch many more videos in the future. Thanks for watching and happy garden to you all.